very excited because there was just a knock at the door and I'm expecting one of two things. I'm expecting two things, but one of them has arrived and it's going to be really cool because it's for the display we've got coming up. Something that we need to get built really quickly, but let's check out what it is. It's a very exciting moment for our display. We've got a set here and one of two sets has arrived. It's either Big Ben or it's the Sydney Opera House. Both are really critical for the display we've got for the school holidays. It's important because the kids are really looking forward to that. Well, a lot of adults are looking forward to this too. We've got a short period of time to actually put this together and it's going to be pretty stressful to get it all happening. But let's, let's take it inside, find out what do we have. Do we have the Sydney Opera House or do we have Big Ben? Let's take it inside. Got the box inside and we're going to find out what is inside this. It's one of two things. It's either Big Ben or it's the Sydney Opera House. And it's for, as I said before, this is for the display that we've got coming up at the Moe Library. So I'm excited about this. Got my trusty scissors. How do we open it? Um, we might start at this end. I cut along here. Hopefully I'll cut myself. Cutting through there. Let's try to open that. Let's try on this side here. I don't want to cut my <laughs> couch thing, whatever they called, cushion. It's nice and soft here. All right, so we've got that there. I'm going to cut through here. I don't want to cut the box itself, but I managed to cut through here. Ugh, nearly got it. All right. I've got it open, and you can probably have a look, but we can't see what it is yet because it's in bubble wrap. <laughs> I might just try cut along here and, and open the whole box up. Can I slide it out? Let's see if I can slide it out. Grab this. Oh, oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. We're going to get it. It's in another box. Oh, they really wrapped this really well. Look at this. There's another box here. And I can't even see what it is yet. So let's find out. Let's get it out of this box. It didn't come. And this is obviously a branding them. It didn't come from that store. Um, I think it was bought. Somebody's selling it online. Okay, let me see if I can get this out. Come on! Get out, 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 yes, we got it out. All right, get rid of that box. So what have we got? I think. I, oh, we can see through here now. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can see what this is. Um, if you can't see, there's a bit more dramatic pause for you here. So let's let's cut through this, and get this open, and have a look at what we've got here. Cut through there. Right. I've really wrapped it very well. I'm, I'm really appreciative of the um, person that sold this to me because taking a lot of care to make sure that this is um, very well wrapped and, and protected. Um, and for people that are probably collecting it in the box, where they're keeping it in the box uh, for you know, the collection value, which I can understand that completely, for people that keep these things in the box, it um, appreciates very well. And for me, I kind of can't help myself. I need to build it. So let's... Um, Let's get this open and see what it is. If you, if you haven't already identified it, um, you can see through there. I think it's probably pretty clear but what what this model is. And it's going to take some big box. It's going to take a lot to set up. There's a lot of pieces in this box, in this set. Let me cut through there a bit more. All right. Oh, it's still <laughs> kind of open. Um, Cut through here. Okay, if I'm not to cut the box, I do want to keep the box. Um, it's expert. This is probably above my pay grade. To open it up. Um, let's, let's do this. Cut through here. Get that. Cut through that. Get that off. Oh, I think you can see what it is now. Let's um, continue opening it. I think it's pretty clear what this model is. It's an expert model of the Sydney Opera House. Oh, let's get this open. Right. So there you have, let me get this fully open, but obviously the dramatic <laughs> drama is gone, but this is this, the Sydney Opera House set that we need. And it's big, look how big this is. We've got, to, got this set, we've got Big Ben arriving. Um, we've still got to build the, um, the tower bridge has got to be built. I've got to build the Taj Mahal as well because that's still in the box. And we've only got a few, not even a little bit over a month to get this all done and set up so that it can be on display. Let me get this open. 
Well, open it up. My concern with this kit though, like the older kits, all of the older kits are like this. Um, let's look at this first when we get this open. Let's get all this rubbish out of the way. All right. Then we have, look how, look how thick this box is. Oh my God, look at that. What's that? We've got the Sydney, oh look at that, compared to the original Sydney, or oh, the real Sydney Opera House. Um, there's all the pieces in here, and I believe this was one of the first sets, to put that around the right way, one of the first sets to actually have the blue base plates. So that's really cool that we've got that to be to use and set it all up. And oh, look how cool this looks. Wow, I didn't see, because the only image I really looked at, <laughs> I didn't really do my homework um, in looking at all the pictures, but I, I saw this image here, which which looks fabulous. I mean, the detail that's put in to make this look, and, and this build, probably one of the, um, as far as construction goes, it certainly was extremely, it's like a thousand times over budget and 18 years. We'll check that out anyway, and in, in, we'll update that later. Where we um the actual how long this this um, actual real build when they built the Sydney Opera House how far over time it was it's something like eighteen years it's ridiculous but I didn't notice on the back here this is really cool look at this look how well this is detailed how exciting is that I'm looking really looking forward to building this and the steps there's <laughs> I'm looking forward to it and I'm dreading it because we've got so much to get done. Um, but this is an unboxing, so we need to go to the next step. Let's let's um, open this box up and see what's inside. Now, my fear with this, the earlier sets, as I mentioned before, are different from the sets that we have now. All the sets that we have now have um, numbered bags, so you build them in order. You open a bag and build it, which makes it a lot more efficient. When I was building the original Millennium Falcon, the really, really big one, it... It was all grey, <laughs> all part, well, nearly all the parts are grey, and the bags weren't numbered. So when I got to, um, I think it was in, instruction number 25-ish around that area, I was searching through bags uh, to find um, the different parts. And it was so frustrating because they're all grey and you're searching through bags so, and because it's not numbered, you don't do this bag. It was I had all these bags open. So, and what I did was I actually spent two days, opened all the bags and sorted all the parts so they're all the same parts and I had them spread out all over one of the spare room floors and then from there I could actually go and build it efficiently because it was just, just really ridiculous. And, and that is my fear with this set, that it is going to be um, not numbered bags and so we're going to have to have a, a bit of a... Can, um, a bit of trouble building this in the sense of the time it's going to take so it might be a case of where we need to go through and open all the bags sort through everything so let's find out is this one of those sets is it numbered bags there's one there well, there's a little bit extra tape here too another one we cut through the official tape and we cut through this tape so we, we've actually opened it devalued the box um it's not a bad box in, actually in condition wise a little bit of a score scoring on the side here but um you kind of expect that with the age of the set Okay, so we look at this, and, and oh, I, I'm very pleased to say, I'm very, very pleased to say, you can see that here, for those of you looking, you can see that, look at that, we've got numbered bags, this is going to be a much, much easier build than I was thinking, so that's fantastic, pull all these out and have a, have a look, should I do the big tip, the big reveal, let's get these scissors out of the way, otherwise I might be a little bit dangerous, let's do the big reveal and tip everything out, ready, here we go, oh. Let's tip all out. Okay, whoa, look at that. So I'll put this. That's a bugger. Wow. Alright, look at this base plate. I haven't actually seen a base plate that big before. Um, not in one of the kits that I've had anyway. I've seen that quite well sturdy before. But we've got bags, 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 more bags, more bags, and some bags at my feet. Ah, okay. So, well, <laughs> this is. Not going to be as fun as I thought it was going to be because they are numbered bags. But rather than rather than the bags being numbered um, each individual, we got one, two, three. As you'll notice, we've got three, three. There's a three. There's another three. There's a four. This is a three. There's a four. There's a four. There's a four. Um, they get really deep. <laughs> doesn't know its number, does it? There's a three. There's another three. 
some more base plates, some more other bits and pieces, another three, another four, another four. So I'm guessing, let's have it, we'll jump ahead. I, I, I'm guessing what's in this white box is a whole bunch of other numbers, which my guess would be bags one to two. So even though we've got numbered bags, they're not quite sequentially numbered. We're going to be opening a lot to, to build this set, and we'll film that separately. Um, so put that out of the way. Let's have a look at the instructions. Where's my scissors? Come back, scissors. Let's have a look. Just um, gently open that. And um, let's have a look at the instructions here. Put that to the side here. All right, so we've got expert number one. This is actually quite old. We can see it in the, the paper. You probably can't see it on the camera, but the paper is actually, um, it's kind of a, you can see it's aged in that. So we've got that one. This is book three. Um, then we've got, what have we got here? Book four. So I'm guessing each, <laughs> there's a pattern here. I think I've got this worked out. Uh, it took me a while. But so we've got book two, one, two, three, four. So my guess, given we've got, haven't opened this white box yet, let's go to, to book three. I, do you see, you've obviously picked this up before I did. Um, book three, parts three, I, I'm pretty sure they'll all relate. So it's like, so yeah, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. So bag three, we're building the sale, one of, or three of the sales here. All right. Um, so bag one, let's have a look what we build with bag one. So the, the, oh, here we go. The instructions will show us what we do. Bag one, we actually build, we build the base. Yeah, and then we, bag two, which will be in the white box, um, builds the rest of the base. Three is the sale and four is the rest of the sale plus the little lights. And we'll work on getting some light set up for that at some point in the future as well. Um, so that's this is going to be. A, I'm actually really, really looking forward to this build. It, I'm not looking forward to the time frame we've got to get all this stuff built by. Um, but for you, that let's, let's just double check. Given this is a, a box opening, let's check that we have got everything here. So put that to the side. I'll put that back in the bag. Let's open this box here. How do we open this box? It doesn't have it. So we've got to. Oh, it's one of those pushy ones. I don't like these because um, uh, being a little bit annually reattentive, I like to keep the boxes intact, intact as much as possible. So let's see if I can do this without wrecking the box itself. Um, some of you relate to this, that you like to look after the boxes and, and without destroying it, other people you know, like to tear everything open, which is, is just, you know, we all have yeah, different ways of, of addressing things. And, and some might say it's therapy as well. I mean, let's have a look if we can open this without destroying the box. Doing well so far. And, okay. Do we have anything in here other than uh, I put these over here? Oh, I've got freeze and, and um, just for the annual retention is right now. I'll put some of the numbers upside down just to really stir you up. <laughs> uh, okay. Two, 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 one. Two, one, one, two, one, another two. Because we get a base plate. Oh, it's bent. A little bit bent. Um, I'm sure it'll straighten out. Two, and one. So there's nothing, no surprises in here from what we were expecting. We did um, got a couple of base plates, which we um, I'm not sure. It's kind of bendy, but I'm sure it'll bend back. Um, so I'll put all that back in, but this is our Sydney Opera House, um, in Sydney Opera House build with, we've got four, one, two, three, four books, four sets of bags. Fortunately, we do have sets of bags that they're, um, it's going to be a job. We're going to have to open all this up. This is going to be a very decent build because how many parts in this set? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember, but I know it's got it written here somewhere. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's not written on the box. That's unusual. Normally it's written on the box how many parts there are. Um, but it's not 10,000. <laughs> and, um, but it's, I think it's about the 3,000 mark here. Yeah, well, there you go. 
We'll dub that in later. Uh, we'll probably put it on the screen in post how many parts are going in and Damien to Damas. Um, this is really nice. I mean, I'm looking, just noticing things I didn't notice before, which which are there. Now that I'm looking into more detail, just the, the way that the glass comes out and the way this all matches into the original Sydney Opera House. Um, this is going to be quite fun. And this is, I love these kind of things that they they did back then. They, they weren't afraid to, to try different things. And, and there was controversy. It's like the Eiffel Tower when it was built. People hated it. Um wanted it ripped down and, and but it's one of those iconic things that that's the difference and we, we need to I think we need to bring back that there's too much um, conformity too much everyone trying to be the same we need to find things that are different and embrace those differences as well but anyway this has been the unboxing of <clears throat> this which we've got to get built <laughs> Got to get built for the show, so it's going to be fun. Um, not looking for well, I'm looking forward to building. I'm not looking forward to the time frame. The pressure there is going to be um, pretty extreme. As the unboxing, we will we will continue on as we move through because on top of everything we've got to do, uh, this is you know this house here that I'm in has been sold. So kind of, <laughs> I've got to get out of this house, move everything out of this house, get everything built for the display because I've the display starts on the 29th of June. And this house has got to be vacated by the 1st of July. So it's got to have everything moved out. We've got to build these sets, as I mentioned before, and, and have it all done. But we'll catch you in the next part of this video and in the next series.